Welcome to Syntax, a Generative Introduction, 4th Edition. My name is Andrew Carney. I'm a professor of linguistics at the University of Arizona. I'm the author of your textbook, and I'll be leading you through this series of video tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw syntactic trees using Microsoft Word. Um, there are a number of tree drawing tools that are available um, out there, but I would actually recommend just using the basic drawing tools in Word. I find they're easier, they're quite flexible, um, and they're going to give you a prettier product and one that isn't filled with mistakes. Um, there's a couple of things you have to do. First, in order to do this, um, we're going to want to set a couple of settings first. So I'm using um, uh, Microsoft Word on a Mac. The menus on a Windows version might be slightly different, but all the same functionality is there to, no matter what your um, menus, uh, no matter what your operating system is. So I'm going to go to Preferences, and I'm going to um, click on the edit button and I'm going to make sure that the grid is turned off. Okay, you want to click on grid options and then make sure that there's no snapping objects to grid. Because if you do that, it's going to be much, much harder for you to um, draw your trees and get it to look nice. Um, that's the first thing you want to do. The second thing you want to do is you want to set your tabs. On the, on the Mac version, under Format, there's a Tabs button. And um, I recommend setting default tabs at 0.25 inches, um, so every quarter inch. Uh, if, you, if you don't, um, you can also manually put these in if you prefer. So for example, you could just click a tab on each of these points, and that works just as well. All right. So you want your tabs to be set this way uh, because it will allow you to make sure that your tree is nicely aligned. Okay, now this next thing we're going to do is learn how to draw a line and to modify the line so that it looks nice. So here what we need to do is click on the Insert tab and we're going to choose a shape. So there's this button here that says Shape. And I'm going to draw a line, and here's our line tool. There are other, plenty of other tools you can use, but the line tool is the one you're going to use the most. We can draw a line that looks like this. Now, um, Microsoft, for some reason, has decided to use a very strange default. It comes with a shadow, and it's not a nice thickness, and it's a strange color. So you probably want to set the color um, and the thickness. Um, I set the color to black, so it's set on black. And the other thing I want to do is change the weight. Um, I like a weight of one point. Now you can um, make this your default line by right-clicking on this line, or uh, if you're using Windows, or control-clicking if you're using a Mac. And what you want to do is... Um, Put this to um, save as default line, like that. Now all the lines you draw are going to look the same. Okay, now another um, thing that you're going to want to learn about is you see here it says shape format. This button, the arrange button, is um, really useful. If you click on it, you'll see that one of the items is to rotate. And this will become incredibly useful to us to make sure our trees look nice and symmetrical. So um, let's say we want to do a, a normal binary branching structure with two branches. We're going to copy this. Um, so I click on it and copy, and then I paste it. And then I go to Arrange, and I flip horizontally. Now what I can do is click on it and drag it into position and I have a really nice, um, completely symmetrical tree. Um, you can zoom in on um, this to see if it's looking good. 
Now, another thing I often do is I create a bunch of these um, structures. So I do one like this. Um, I might do one that's um, just a straight line up and down. So I might just do a straight line up and down. I want to make sure it's straight. Again, you can zoom in if you think there's, um, if you think it might not be perfectly straight, you can just sort of zoom in like that. Um, I might do one that's actually a combination of these that is a ternary branch. So I'll uh, select all of these and I'll just merge this straight line straight into the structure like that. Now I have a bunch of tree bits. Drawing my tree is going to be a lot easier because I can just cut and paste these pieces in. Ah, there's one more important thing we need to do, which is we want to make sure that under the Arrange tab, I'm going to click this here, um, that our wrapping and our position tools are set one way. We want to make sure that um, that there, there's no wrapping. Instead, what is happening is that it is in front of the text, like this, this button right here. You want to make sure that your diagrams are in front of the text, because otherwise they'll start bouncing around the letters you put in. So make sure that text wrapping is set um, to be in front of text. Okay, now let's start drawing um, Let's start drawing a, uh, a tree. So the sentence we're going to draw the tree for is the detective um, ate some disgusting popcorn for breakfast. We can do a little bit of analysis on this right up front. Um, the detective is going to be your subject noun phrase ate some disgusting popcorn for breakfast is going to be your verb phrase. Um, the verb eat has two modifiers. Some disgusting popcorn is the direct object noun phrase. And for breakfast tells you, um, is a kind of prepositional phrase that uh, modifies the verb. It tells you why you did the eating. Um, so we'll keep that in mind as we're drawing our tree. I'm going to draw my tree from the top to the bottom because that's the quickest way for me to do it. Um, more experienced um, syntacticians always draw their trees from the top to the bottom. Uh, but if you want to draw your tree from the bottom to the top, that's fine too. So um, this is a sentence. That means there's a TP node. And uh, as we noted, this, there's a noun phrase and a verb phrase. There's no T node here. There's no auxiliary. Um, the noun phrase consists of the determiner the and uh, the noun uh, detective, and the verb phrase consists of the verb, um, a noun phrase, and a prepositional phrase. So the verb is ate, the noun phrase is some disgusting popcorn, and for breakfast is the prepositional phrase. I'm just going to add some of the words in here while I am um, at this stage. Um, And uh, we'll flesh out this noun phrase here. You'll notice that um, I'm hitting the, the enter button between each line of categories. That's going to give you some nice spacing. And then I insert the words in the um, intermediate lines, so between the categories. So the words go um, right underneath the categories I've put in. But then there's a nice space between the different categories. Um, this one uh, is uh, some disgusting popcorn, so there's a determiner and an adjective phrase. Now, um, I'll note right away, I've already discovered that I, my alignment on this higher line isn't great, so I'm just going to tab that over so that we have a slightly nicer looking orientation. And that's going to mean moving the prepositional phrase over as well, and probably the verb phrase. So, and this prepositional phrase consists of a preposition and a noun phrase. Again, I'm going to insert some words on this intermediate line. 
um, uh, stupid word sometimes capitalizes um, when you don't want it to, um, and you can just fix that. Uh, again, my lining here is not great. Um, okay, and then finally, I'm going to put in the adjective and noun like this. Oops, made a mistake. That's popcorn, not disgust. And our head noun is uh, breakfast. Again, I'm going to tell Word to stop capitalizing things. Now that I've done that, I'm going to start inserting my tree structures. Um, I'm going to have to make adjustments here, so uh, bear with me. So I'm going to start with this one um, right here. My TP could also be better centered. That's a pretty good place right there. And I'm going to put this right underneath that TP. And then I'm going to stretch these lines to sit on top of the um, categories I want. Um, I'm going to copy that one. That's a pretty good one to sit here as well, although I'm going to have to extend this line over the PP. Um, I'm going to want to add this line right here in under the noun phrase. And again, I'm going to have to adjust its height slightly just so it looks nice. Um, I'll take this one and I'll pop it here under the noun phrase. And um, we'll, use, we'll use this one right here, this uh, three-legged one. I'll put that right here. And again, we have to adjust each of the lines so that they look nice and don't overlap the words. Um, you also want the lines to go from the bottom of one category to the top of another. Try to avoid having the lines go to the side of the category. And that may seem like an unnecessary detail, but when we start defining structural relations uh, in the next unit, you'll see that it's important that, that those lines correspond to specific positions in the tree which are the bottom of the top category and the top of the bottom category. And we're almost done. Pop these, this in here, and we'll do one more. And we've drawn the tree for this sentence. Um, you'll see this is relatively easy. It takes a little while the first time you do it, and the second, and the third. But once you get going, you'll see you can do it very quickly, like I did here. I strongly recommend this as the best method for drawing trees um, if you use Microsoft Word.